ITPC Mark TV of the Briar Bossy coming to you from oh, across the yard from the Bri the Briar Bothy. <laughs> Got my Briar Bothy mug. Fancy. Uh, I'm on the Bothy porch this morning. It's absolutely gorgeous weather in Louisiana. Uh, it's it's been it's been well earned, I think. <laughs> <laughs> After that hurricane that we had, kind of knocked us out of commission for for a few weeks. Um, I'm fine. Everybody, everybody here seems to be recovering pretty good. So just to give you a little update on that. That's uh, we're, we're we're back at a good place. Most places are back open for business. Um, yeah, you know, there's some communities that are still struggling, uh, especially in the southwest Louisiana portion of the state. Um, so pray and think for them because uh, you know they they need a lot of help. Um, but our area, the New Orleans metropolitan area, is uh, is is for the most part pretty uh, pretty much back to where it was prior to, prior to the storm. Still some you know little small things that need to be fixed on the house, like some shingles that, that got ripped off and fences needs to be redone. So um, beyond that, our uh, we we made out exceptionally well. So I, I can't be uh, too unhappy or uh, upset. Uh, things are things are pretty good. So if you uh, if you thought about me or even Padre, uh, we would appreciate that because uh, we uh, <laughs> we lived through it and it wasn't fun. But here we are. I think it's October twenty fourth. Uh, so as they call it, spooky season. <laughs> I don't know why people call it spooky season. It's almost Halloween gonna be doing a little bit of a, a taste test today on this uh, this warped scarecrow I've heard some really good things and some really bad things about it so I think it's a all oh, your mileage may vary kind of blend I would just find most pipe tobaccos really are and if you're not uh, an aromatic smoker you probably smoke non aromatics now with Cornell and deal we know their their touch with aromatics is light so um, and this is not just this is Cornell and Deal in warped cigars, so let's say it's a mix of two companies coming together and, and and bringing out their. I think the last year they came out with one called. Um, it'll come to me in a second. Uh, the Haunting. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. Um, so 2019 or 2020, I can't remember. Uh, but that did really well. The Haunting sold out very quickly, uh, and same thing for this one. It sold out. <clears throat> pretty quickly so if you don't if you didn't get a 10 it, maybe next year but as of right now they're they're completely sold out but they only make uh 2500 tins so for this particular uh blend uh their halloween blend they only come out with 2500 now if you're looking for carolina red flake there are 15,000 of that so the the, the moniker small batch is eh, is it really small batch <laughs> Padre and I were joking about that a little bit. Um, but this is probably what you would consider to be a small batch tobacco. 2,500 tins is very, very little. Um, so you had to be on it when it came out. Um, I think it, it lasted through the day, but once once the day it came out was over, it was gone. Um, so <clears throat> I think I'm gonna smoke a little bit, little bit of that this morning. I completely forgot my pipe inside, so I'm gonna have to go inside and get that. <laughs> Good Lord. Which I have right here in my hand that I, I magically sucked it from, from the inside into my hand. I didn't even get up, which is crazy. I have magical powers. Anyway, this is a uh, Missouri Meerschaum Emerald, I think. Very nice. Pipe. It's got a, you know, I've smoked it a few times. It's got a, a emerald acrylic stem, or emerald green, <laughs> green cumber, Cumberland or whatever they call it. Very, very nice. We're only about 25 bucks, I think, on on uh, Missouri Meerschaum's website. I think smoking pipes may carry them from time to time. They're generally not sold in stores, so you're going to find it in a retailer more than likely, but... Let's crack this open, get to enjoying some pipe tobacco, since that's what everybody's here for anyway, right? I'm a little nervous. 
let's see, aged Virginias, matured Burleys, and red Virginia Cavendish, pressed and sliced in the crumble cake. So I believe it's going to be a brick, which is not always, but I like to cut these, take them out, and just slice them into flakes. Um, but I did not do that because this is a fresh, haven't even opened it yet, don't know what it smells like. Um, of course, with any Cornell and Deal blend, you're going to get... Uh, some burley <laughs> they love but they love their burleys Whew. padre had some choice words for this i'm not going to repeat them here okay look at that nice little liner tin a liner uh cardboard or whatever you want to call it exclusively different It is very aromatic um, on its smell. I expect it's not goopy, but if you don't know this is an aromatic when you open this tin, your nose is not working. Now right off you get the, maybe it's just the air that comes out, um, but when I get my nose in there, you get a lot more of the tobacco. It's a lot less smelly. Though there is definitely some chocolate, maybe a little vanilla. I think it's chocolate, vanilla, and caramel, I think is the, the, the aromatic intent or whatever they put on it, which is, you know, why people like aromatics. It's very little, very little thought goes into, you know, what you have to, what you're not picking out notes and flavors and it's, Whatever they flavor it with is what you're, <laughs> what you should be tasting, or smelling. Yeah, it's a little brownie, a little chocolate, tan chocolate brownie. Uh, there are some, can't really see in here, but there are some, uh, which I'll probably use for my pipe, since I don't feel like breaking this up too much. Uh, there are some little little chunks down here which I'm gonna kind of rub out a little bit. Yeah, they have these like little mini bricks. Little mini bricks. I'm just gonna rub rub these out a little bit. Not not wet. Good uh good moisture content on this. It smells good. Um, so I right off the bat I'm I'm liking it just from the the smell. Uh, it doesn't. I think Padre may have gotten a bad a bad batch. I don't know. It, it, this smells fine. Um, but everybody's sniffer is different, so, you know, you might hate what the smell is. It smells fine to me, though. Working, rubbing it out a little bit. There we go. Nice. It's very, th it's almost like a shag. Very thin ribbon. It should pack into the pipe very well. So, usually that's pretty across the board for Cornell and Veal blends. They, they tend to pack and light very well. I'm usually very satisfied with, with how they at least produce their tobacco. Say what you will about, you know, their blends and if you like them or not, they, their presentation is good. I've never been, I've never had a problem with their presentation. I don't like every one of their tobaccos, but for the most part, I find you can find something you know, like their catalog is so huge. Uh, probably at least over 150 blends, at least. Now people, ah, 400, 500, and nah, there's probably not that much, but let's say safely 150. Get a little bit of a boozy kind of kind of taste in the cold draw. Back a little more in here. I'm not going to do a full bowl. I generally don't. Anyway, but I'll get it to about three quarters and we'll stay at that. Put this little brownie back in the back in its cookie jar. Sorry if it's shaking. You just have to deal with it.
Who knows, maybe I'll cut this out. Okay, got that packed back up. And we're gonna light up. Enjoy a little Cornell and Deal warped scarecrow. Right off the bat, lit extremely well. Probably gonna have to do a little touch up in just a second, but. A lot of body. Um, I suspect they use quite a bit of burley in here. An eerie chill descends on your evening walk, drawing your coat closer. You pause to light your pipe, the fragrance of earthy burley, hay like Virginia's caramel apples, and candy corn mingling with the oncoming mist. Crossing the cornfield, just off the road, you spot the scarecrow, silent, still. You've seen him before, but you can't shake the feeling that this time, he sees you too. Ooh, I got chills. Again, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Don't talk when you're, you know, breathing out. <coughs> There's any sucks them to smoke back in. Bad idea. So one thing Cornell Deal does is they, they love having a little story attached to their tobacco everyone's like this especially if they're their old one series their 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 holiday blends they always have like a little story attached to them they love that dialing you into the you know thinking about yeah, just getting in a mood for the tobacco which is kind of uh i guess a nice little touch i don't know if it, some people like that kind of stuff like the the lore surrounding their tobacco um, they, they tend to dial into that real well. Um, so they have a uh, kind of a niche for, you know, being playful and, and fun. I'm still working off that first light, which is unusual for me because I'm usually a relighter. I usually don't do well with, uh, with first light. This is burning extremely well. <clears throat> as far as the flavor, you know, with any Cornell and Deal tobacco, any aromatic, the the smell never really translates, not completely, to what you taste. What I'm getting out of this is a lot of the burley. And a little, and a very, very hefty sweetness from the uh, from the Virginia, but it's not like a candy or a um, or, or an artificial sweetness. It's definitely something that's that's coming from the constituent tobacco. There's a Virginia Cavendish in here. I'm not sure if it's a sweetened Virginia Cavendish, though I suspect it probably is. Probably a um, probably a sweetened vanilla Cavendish. I don't know. <clears throat> Just going off of what I'm reading on the tin and what I'm tasting, and it is sweet, but it's not candy syrupy. It's it's reserved and it's probably just like a sugar casing they put on it to kind of round it out, which they case in most tobaccos with it, and even the even the Virginias in here are probably coated cased with a little bit of a sugar solution so 
<clears throat> it just makes it taste better. I'm liking it. I'm not. I'm not gonna dog it at all. It's actually a very nice blend. Uh, I wouldn't. From the smell, you get a much different picture. But it isn't. It isn't light on the palate. It isn't. Um, oh well. I wish I could get the room note, but that's just not gonna happen. Definitely smells sweet. I guess what I'm getting primarily is a little bit of a vanilla. Not so much chocolate. Maybe a little bit of the caramel, but definitely vanilla. <clears throat> Mix it with that rich kind of dark burly kind of kind of flavor definitely plays well with the tobacco Virginia is kind of I guess rounded out in this blend I'm not I'm not getting a whole lot of Virginia but it's an aged Virginia so I'm imagining it's probably a um, it's probably a red Virginia, but eh, I don't know. Let me look at, let me look at it again. <clears throat> Got to open this whole thing back up. Oh. <clears throat> we got some golden. we got some golden Virginia, Virginia in here for sure. That's... You can see. Doesn't focus for a while, but now Virginia Cavendish is generally not it's not too dark. It's brown, but it's not black. Anyway. Nothing happened. Hopefully you got a tin of this. Hopefully you were able to track one down before before it sold out. Um, it is good. Is it great? No, but most tobaccos aren't, unless they're McLelland. <laughs> they're not, probably not great. At least in a, in a, in a <clears throat> from a community review standpoint, you know, it's it's good. It's it's definitely worth what I paid. Glad I got a 10. Glad I got two 10s. Wow. Come back from the dead. Perfect. That's what I like from a tobacco. It, that's what makes this good for me. And not great, but good is that it burns well, it tastes good, it lights easy, there's nothing I can complain about. And that's why I say, that's why I would recommend it. Just Or any Cornell and Deal blend that's cut with the same kind of thin ribbon, very not moist, but but not dry. They do a good job with that. I cannot, I can never fault them for how they prepare tobacco. For some reason, they just they just they they've keyed in on it and they've dialed it in, and they do a great job. <clears throat> anyway, hope you've enjoyed hanging out with me for a few minutes. Um, I should be back on relatively soon. I I was supposed to do a video a couple weeks back. And then I had some dental issues. And so while I was dealing with that and, and doing the procedures, and it's like a, a cavity, but it was also a crown. Um, just kind of leaving it all alone. I didn't want to smoke anything. So 
to, I wanted to keep it as unirritated as humanly possible because it was really irritated. It wasn't like an abscess, but it, it hurt. Um, what with the with the temple on, what they had they do a little temp crown where where they they drill a tooth and then they 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 fit your crown. They put a temple on, and then they go make it. A couple days later, they get it in, and then they can they can deliver it into your mouth. So I was trying to. Uh, Stay away from all tobacco products just to give my mouth a chance to uh, catch up. And so I'm here again, smoking pipes and cigars and enjoying life again <laughs> as much as I can. Um, but thanks for hanging out. I uh, Hopefully I'll be back on... Don't know what kind of videos I'm going to be making yet at the moment. Probably not a whole lot of whiskey stuff. I've kind of let that, for now, rest while the Bothy is still kind of not in use. I'm going to just be doing tobacco stuff for now. And we're going to see where this goes. See how, uh, if I can get on some kind of regular schedule once a week. I can never make promises, but I do try. <laughs> so anyway, see y'all later. Bye.